Welcome back, my people. This is for my peeps who didn't get this today. So, um, what I can do is go into my ghost, okay, rename your sprites. This is Inky Blinky. Uh, I just go ahead and rename them. So you hit the rename button, M is sprite. Like reload here for a second. Okay, continue. Uh, projects, my projects, period five. So rename this guy Inky. So I have Inky, now I have Blinky. Go in here, hit rename, get rid of the three. Three is not uh, a specific name, so we want to give it a real name that we know. So Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. So those guys actually have names. If you didn't know their names and you went image sprite orange, image sprite blue, image sprite pink, and image sprite red, that would be fine. So now you just go in here. This is how you upload an image. So you click on your image, choose a file. You go into your 2017 folder or your documents in your guys' case. Okay, you go into your period folder, whatever period you're in. And so this guy is inky. Inky is blue. And then you go into Blinky. Blinky is red. You go into your pink one. Upload, choose a file. Pinky. And this is all you do. It's not that hard once you learn how to do it. Go into Clyde. And upload, choose a file. There's Clyde. And see how they're jumped up or they're jumbled up right now? You guys can drag them out of the way. You can put them wherever you want. It doesn't matter. We're, we're going to have the code make them move. So it doesn't matter where they go right now. If you want, you guys could go to drawing and animation, get two more sprites for the dot and the Powerball. So you just go rename one of these guys dot rename this guy power ball um, go ahead and put in the image that you want respectively go into your dot go get the dot done all right now down here this is going to be a little advanced down here so we're going to go to ha control panel and you guys want to put in four buttons down here. So one, 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 two, three, and four. But if you guys notice, they're not going where I want them. Okay, so I'm going to drag them out of here for a second. So what I need here is, and this is pretty advanced, but you guys can get it. It's not too hard. You want a table arrangement. So go put in a table arrangement. There it is. Now you can go to your HA control panel and center it. And this guy will be in the center. I want my control panel to be in the center so it looks good. And it's in the right place. And now a left-handed person or a right-handed person can play the game. And it's fair for both. So go into your table arrangement. Notice there's columns and widths, or columns and rows. I'm sorry. So go into columns, make it three columns. Go into rows, make it three rows. And now I can drag these in here, and you guys see where it's like a tic-tac-toe board now. See that? It's a tic-tac-toe board. So you tic-tac-toe it. I want it to be top right or middle. That'll be my down button. This is where my right button will go. This is my left button. Boom, done. So now you just go into here, and this is BTN 
up. Okay. You go here. This is BTN down. And you go here, and this is BTN right. And you go here, and this is BTN left. All right. And if you want to have some fun here, what we do is we go in and we just make all these buttons 30 by 30. Just like we set up our button covers the other day in GIMP. And you want to go to shape as an oval. Um, you don't need text, so just delete your text. Go to your image. Where's my image? There it is. Image, upload, choose a file. And now I want my up button. Actually, uh, yeah. There it is. There's my up button. Looks pretty good. You go down here, same thing. Height. You're the developer. You should know the height. 30 by 30. Image. Down. There it is. See how the text is on top of it? Don't want there. So delete it. Okay. Go here. BTN right. Upload, choose file. You can do whatever order you want. There you go. Um, text is none. Um, go, in, go into the height. 30. 30. Good. Text is none. Delete it. Text is none. Delete it. X is none. Delete. Enter. There we go. Looking good. Last one. BTN left. Um, height and width. Set it. 30 pixels. High 30 pixels. Um, you can go to an oval. X is none. And go get a shape. Put it on there. Picture. And voila. Now you got a pretty cool looking control panel. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty professional. Um, what you can do now is you can go to your control panel and just go to background color black, and now you got a control panel right there. Bam. All right. So that's a little bit more on how to build your GUI. Put a clock time in here. 2.50. Okay. Some other things that's pretty cool is an accelerometer. Those are cool. Um, I can show you how to do that. Media. Yeah, we could have sounds. We could have a song play in the background and a player. Uh, text to speech is my favorite. That's Siri and Iris. So you can put that in. Notice those are invisibles. So this is this is going to be for my sound. Pac Man Chomp. Chomp. And this is going to be my player for my background song. In my clock game time, and, da, 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 and I'm looking pretty good. And if you want to get fancy, you could go to the internet and go to Pac Man Board. And you go to images and find some cool backgrounds. Are you with me? The only problem with this is, is that it's not really going to run through the maze, so I don't recommend doing it. Um, but since this is a GIMP class, what we could do is go into your GIMP, okay, and go make a cool background. We know our screen is 300 by 400. You hit OK, and there it is. And now you go get your blend tool, all right, 
Bam, that's cool. Or you could go get, you can make whatever background you want. Dark. Okay. Uh, let me see one that would make sense for Pac-Man. This guy's cool. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. This guy's pretty neat. That's pretty cool. That kind of gets all the colors of Pac-Man and the ghosts and the orange and all that. So that's neat. I like it. So file export as uh, my background. I think I spelled it wrong. File export as background. That's not that. Background, PNG. And then you can go right in here, find some cool ones, you can get them. I don't know if there's anything in there I really see that's going to really work well. So um, now this canvas or even the entire scoreboard and everything could be on that, okay? So what I could do here is go to background, upload, and upload my background. There they are. That's a cool background. Yeah, that looks cool. Looks kind of spacey. And what you can do here also is go into your screen one and put it in your background. And there it is. And now all these boxes, you can go in here and go to none. Canvas, background color, none. Ooh, nice. And your control panel, background, color, none and now i got a pretty cool looking app here Are you with me so that's it for today that is how you can build a gui and a class period all right have fun and uh code on we'll see you